Hello fellow modelers, this is Ron's Trains and More, back with another video here. Thought I'd show you guys this new, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, this new uh, Alco Taco Golden Eagle locomotive here. I got this yesterday with the matching caboose over there. And I mean this thing, it was awful when I got it. It didn't run. The gears and all were all gommed up. I ripped it apart piece by piece and uh, cleaned it, lubed it, oiled it, reassembled it, wiped the body all off, and man, she runs perfect. That is an excellent running locomotive right there. A lot of people say tacos aren't good. Shoot, man, ain't a thing wrong with these things. I love them. These tacos are great. This is going to be a nice taco 4 by 8 foot layout though. So far just about everything on here is taco. All the trains are and everything. The only thing on here is not is that water tower right there. That life lock uh, beacon water tower thing there. I just thought that was cool though because it's got a blinking red light. I may hang on to that. But I'm going to replace the, that water tower there with a taco one. But uh, yeah, every bit of this is taco. Even the old tracks taco, most of it. So, it's all taco now. Oh, except for that one engine right there. That is actually an IC. But that's made from a taco mold, the Chattanooga Choo Choo mold. They bought some of taco's molds, and if you put the Chattanooga Choo Choo right next to that, the taco, and it'll look exactly like it. Except for the power torque that's in the tender. Yeah, the power would be in that tender as to where on this site. See, it's in the locomotive there with a the flywheel. It's a good engine right there, though. It runs good. And yeah, I've got a pretty good taco collection so far. So far, I've got the operating crossing gate here that never really operated. <laughs> it would sort of go down, but, you know, that's taco. That's the fun of it, you know. It's just neat. And then I've got the operating box car. Shoots the boxes out with the men inside there. Got the operating log dump car. I've actually got two of those sets. And then I've got the a couple piggyback loader and unloader sets. This one I haven't even got out of the box yet. And then I've got a freight depot I'm getting ready to put on here that uh, pushes the culverts out on the flat car. And I've got, I think I might have one rare kit taco. I haven't seen it anywhere. I don't know if any of you guys have seen it anywhere, but it's this kit right here. Um, there's a lot of old taco literature here. That would be probably from the red box there, I would assume, by the looks of that logo. But yeah, I've got a pretty good taco collection here so far. I've got more in that tub right there, but got this operating Virginian hopper here but yeah this kit right here is what I wanted to tell you guys this Baskin Robbins kit here I haven't seen that thing anywhere I've seen one on eBay but man they wanted a lot for it but it's got a lock kit in it and I've got a blocking controller that thing's cool run two trains at once Got a lot of accessories here, Freight Depot, but it's going to be pretty cool, man. I've got, it's going to be a pretty nice 4 by 8 foot taco layout. I'm going to keep making some videos on it here. I started collecting some taco transformers also. These are actually all different. They look the same. There's one more gold one I think that I need to get. But I've got model 899V, 899B. And this is actually a red box era by the logo, but it's an 899C. So that's when they were in Woodbury Heights, New Jersey. Then I'm assuming they moved to Morristown, New Jersey. But yeah, these things are cool. I always thought that one was cool too. That would be a later era right there, probably late 80s, early 90s era. But uh, they were pretty powerful transformers. I mean, they'll, they'll power some stuff. That thing there, I may just get rid of that because I'm thinking about using all taco power. I want to get a bigger taco transformer though, the double one that would run two trains. 
that's made like that, but it's a taco. None of that's hooked up right now. I was going to do some blocks and things. I just haven't done it yet. But, um, yeah. So I'll give you guys a look at this Golden Eagle locomotive here that I just picked up and re completely restored. Now, those truck side frames that's on that, those are actually wrong. Those came off of a Taco F9, but they are Taco side frames, so that's cool. They actually, they fit right on there. I had to put those on there because these right here was actually broke or well it was missing two so i just took those off but if anybody's got two of those side frames i'd really be interested in those right there for a taco alco then i could put the original ones back on this locomotive but for right now at least it's got some those actually don't look that bad on there but man that's a great locomotive it runs awesome I'm trying to get matching cabooses to go with all these too, but I'll run around here and be quiet for a minute, let you guys watch it run here. I mean, this is a smooth running engine though. I've seen a lot of tacos, power torques and things, but this one's smooth. Yeah, I'm really getting into this taco stuff now. I'm glad I started collecting it. I'm enjoying it. It's a lot of fun. A lot of memories behind it, nostalgia for me. But yeah, look how smooth that thing runs. And I didn't even put brushes in or clean the armature or nothing. That's just from a good lubrication and wheel cleaning. I got those three engines right there. I gotta clean up the chassis, the UP, and the Santa Fe. I might run that chassis with this one. But, uh, yeah, it's running good. White well, thing sure is shiny. And I got to force the matching caboose to go with it. Nice and shiny. Missing a smokestack, but I'll get one of those. I'll tell you the truth, man, I'm enjoying this old taco stuff way better than I am the prototype stuff, you know, the newer Norfolk Southern scale trains to all this, that new stuff, you know. I love this old type of stuff. It's just basic, simple. You can set it up and run it and have fun with it. You don't have to worry about getting all that detail of weathering and details of less parts and all those things, you know. It's just, it's fun. You can just set them up and run them and have fun with them. That's what I love about it. Plus the operating accessories. And a lot of other companies may show how to operate accessories, so that's another thing that kind of got me about Taco. I think the piggyback loader is one of my favorites. And that thing there was always kind of neat too. The doze would push the logs off, so it actually works by air. I mean, that's just ingenious. Taco was really thinking out of the box now, a lot of this stuff. They did good on it. Well, that thing can pull some cars too. I'd be willing to bet it to pull another, pull another five or six more cars, probably. Taco's doing good. You just give them a good lubrication. Most of the time you really didn't even got to do anything to the armature or brushes. When you get them, bring them home, just lube them, oil them, and I guarantee you after a good wheel cleaning, they'll run fine. A lot of times on some of them though, it doesn't hurt to, I mean you can tell if they need brushes or not though. And I know this one doesn't need brushes yet. It's running way too good. But anyways, I thought I'd do a quick video here and show you what's going on in my taco collection here. Once again, if you guys got any taco you want to sell or trade anything, just uh, message me in the comments and let me know. And uh, I appreciate all my subscribers and everybody that's liked and commented on my videos and everything man it's just great i never thought i'd reach almost a thousand subscribers on here right now i'm at uh 993 i like a few more and i'll be at a thousand 
if you guys can help me get there, that'd be awesome. But, uh, I appreciate everyone watching my videos, man. This is awesome. I love doing these videos. It's kind of sharing the hobby with all your other, all your other guys. I know all your other taco guys are enjoying this taco stuff I'm doing here, so I'll be doing it for a while. Cause I plan on collecting a whole lot more taco stuff. Well, this is gonna be a taco layout, so. I'll have another train running on here soon. I've already started the loop partly over there. But. Subscribe. This is Ron's Trains and More. Out. Oh.